Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be listening to a new to me artist named Aurora and well the title of the piece is Runaway so let's read what I have to learn about it and then we'll listen. Aurora Axness is a Norwegian singer, songwriter and record producer. Aurora gained recognition with her debut extended play Running with the Wolves in 2015. Oh, this is a this is a recent artist then, which contains the sleeper hit Runaway. Her music is primarily electropop, folk and art pop with vocals referred to as ethereal. She only played piano at the beginning of her career but later involved herself in percussion and other aspects of music production. Musically, Runaway is a down-tempo folktronica, synth-pop, electronic, and electropop song with influences from Nordic folk music. Its lyrics, which were inspired by the grief the singer experienced when being far from her family, express escaping reality and realizing the need to return home. Runaway became Aurora's most successful single in her native Norway, charting at number 14. Now, although the song did not enter the U.S. Billboard Hot 100, it peaked at number one on the U.S. Bubbling Under Hot 100 chart for two weeks. Never heard of that chart before. The song also charted in various countries, including the United Kingdom, Australia, Norway, Germany, and Ireland. Runaway was certified platinum in Norway by the International Federation of the Phonographic Industry and in the United Kingdom by the British Phonographic Industry and gold in the United States by the RIAA. This is interesting. A sort of pop, various pop uh, artist with influences from her native country and Nordic folk style. I wonder if I'll be able to pick those out along the way or if it will just all sound like one particular mix to me. I like this. I don't hear this. I haven't heard this very often in this Virgin Rock project. The idea of backing vocals, well, it's true. A good portion of the artists I've listened to have been males, so they have been the primary singer in the lower range, and so the backing vocals have often been female, soprano, treble range. But here, I'm hearing the female voice with male vocals low underneath. And it gives a nice quality. I was listening to the ocean I saw a face in the sand But when I picked it up Then it vanished away from my hands Done. I had a dream I was seven Climbing my way in a tree I saw a piece of heaven Waiting in pain and I was running far away Would I run off the wall someday? Nobody knows, nobody knows and I was dancing in the rain I felt alive and I can't complain But no, take me home Take me home where I belong I This has a really um, different quality to it as I'm listening, I'm imagining myself picking up a big conch shell and um, holding it against my ear and listening to the, the surf. It sounds as if this piece is coming from inside one of those big shells as you hold it up to your ear. There's this feeling of, 
ah, uh, there's there's an interesting sea-like quality to the sound. And it's not because of this little bit of Hey, nobody knows, nobody knows and I was dancing in the rain, I felt alive and I can't complain but It's no not because of that sound of maybe a wave rolling in. It's not that. It's the it's the whole mix of there's something watery about it. Something something surf like about the sound mix and um I don't know enough about folk music from that part of the world to be able to pick out is this is this something a feature of music there or not but i like i like the quality of this take me home take me home where i belong i can't take it anymore i was painting a picture the picture was a painting of you and for a moment i thought you were happy then again it wasn't true and all this time i have been lying oh lying in secret to myself i've been putting sorrow on the forest place on my shelf -da -da. and i was running far away would i run off the world someday nobody knows nobody knows and i was dancing in It's nice when there are the female vo voices backing as well, but somehow that opening just caught me with those baritone voices doubling what she was doing. It, there's something about it that really grabbed me there. This is all sounding nice. It has a nice flow to it. There's a lilt. There is a... I don't know if, if the word had been had not been planted in my mind if I would choose ethereal. But but sure, it, it could be described as ethereal. It's a it's a very sweet, gentle, mild quality to her voice, to to her music as a whole, actually. It it feels very there's a roundness to the edges. It's not just the way the melody rises and falls. It's not just the harmonies. It's not just it's also the the timbre choices that she has in the musical mix, the tonal elements of the instruments, even little things like the little bits of percussion that are kind of like a I don't know little wooden sticks or something. <laughs> raindrops there's there's a roundness to the quality i'm sure that some of this has to do with the way it is engineered in the studio i'm sure of that but it does have a very pleasing sweet soothing sound to it but i kept running for a soft place to fall and i kept running for a soft place to fall And I kept running For a soft place to fall And I kept running For a soft place to fall and For example, this, this passage here where she's just repeating this line I kept running for a soft place to fall the music, the music starts to paint this picture of 
seeking for softness. It is soft in its seeking. It, it's very gentle in its, in its presentation of this idea. But the way her voice just glides through it. I guess instead of ethereal, the word that comes to mind is glide. It, it glides easily. And I kept running for a soft place to fall. And I kept running for a soft place to fall. And I was running far away. Would I love the world someday? But no, take me home. Take me home where I belong. Keyboard. I got It's a very nice way of expressing those feelings of, I want to go home, I want to go home. It's not panicked, it's not, it's not really stressed, it's not frantic. It's just the, the repetition, take me home, take me home, I want to go home, take me home. I'm missing home, home is where I want to go, home is where I want to be. And when it says, I can't take it anymore, it doesn't sound like like it's an impossibility. It's more just the statement of this is this is not where I belong. I belong at home. And the entire piece has this constant this feeling of gliding um as if there's not a question of whether we will get home. It's not a question of will I make it home or not? Will I be able to get home? Will you take me home? There's nothing questioning about it. It's just saying, take me home. I'm ready to go home. I, I need to go home now. And <clears throat> maybe it's because my little girl is at a stage where she wants mama. And <laughs> When she wants me, she doesn't want anybody else. And she can be very persistent about it. Of course she knows that I'll be there for her. So there's not really a panic, but there certainly is some, some displeasure when she voices what she wants and she can't get what she wants. This piece kind of feels like that. There's an innocence to it, a sweetness of um, you know, I'm away from home. I didn't run away from home. Maybe I'm running away from this idea that um, I'm lonely. But it hasn't been a traumatic event that separated me from home. I'm just away from home. Maybe I'm away from home for school, for maybe even a, even a sleepover at a friend's house. Something simple, something natural, something normal. And then I wake up and realize, I, I want to be home. I want to be home. And that is the overall impression I get from this piece of music. I want to go back and listen to that opening again. I was hoping that those baritone voices would return. They didn't. It's okay. It didn't destroy the piece that they didn't. But I enjoyed them so much at the beginning. It was so different from much of what I hear in, have been hearing in rock music and in, in modern music, whether this falls under the rock umbrella or not. It kinda does. It's, but 
I, I really enjoyed this. And I like what's happening with the phrasing too. <clears throat> There's this, I guess we could call it a riff, it's a motif. Uh, uh, and it repeats, but it doesn't quite repeat exactly. It, it repeats in a truncated form. See, the first time it was one, two, one, da, da. Next time it's one, one. And, and even the da ah, doesn't finish. It goes right back to ah. And so there's that truncated form between sandwiched between the two longer repetitions of it. As I'm listening to this again, having listened to the entire piece once now, this opening feels like a very good sound painting of this desire to go home. It's as if you're leaning towards a place. You're here, but you want to be over there. Ah, 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 ah. And, then, and then that shortened version really is the thing that brings it alive because it's as if you're leaning, but, but you can't quite go. It, it doesn't you, you aren't able to get there. And it creates this slight bit of unease, musical unease, which is really descriptive of this sensation of, I, I'm not where I should be. I, I'm yearning, I'm longing, I want to go home. It also has a hint of mournfulness to it, doesn't it? It could almost be if you made it a bit more, uh, if you intensified the emotional expression a bit more, it could become a sort of cry, a groan, a, an aching um, expression. It doesn't go that dark, but at the same time, it is within the music here. It's a sigh. I was listening to the ocean I saw face in and I really appreciate this this moment where after ocean there's nothing. There is nothing. There's not a breath. There's nothing accompanying. There's not the voice. It's just a moment of true silence. I was listening to the ocean. I saw a face in the sand. And especially because you don't hear much of that in the rest of the piece. It's a really special moment right at the opening. We've had this sigh, this yearning, this, this um, leaning towards home, this desire to go there and this unease with not being at home. And then I was listening to the ocean. And it catches us and we feel like this just opens up a whole expanse, but it doesn't tell us what is there. It just leaves it empty, blank, completely in need of something to fill it. I was listening to the ocean. I saw a face in the sand. 
And and now, as we we're getting into the dream world, I had a dream I was seven. We hear that sort of um, otherworldly um, background sound. It's not perfectly silent anymore. And so this piece builds nicely and carries us along. And not the whole the whole piece is not quite so descriptive as these opening bars. That's why I wanted to return to the beginning, because to me, that is the that is the part that got me really excited. The rest of it is lovely. And the opening sets it up so well that we don't really feel like we have to have the same sort of descriptive um, musical contributions. Once we're into it, then we can go with it. But it's a really, really great setup and opening to a piece with this theme. There was a little escape there. I was listening there. to the ocean saw a face in the sand But when I picked it up Then it vanished away from my hands oh. Even even when she sings Then it vanished away from my hands Listen to what the voices are doing This sort of slight It's as if It's as if This face in the sand You you pick it up And it just slides through your, through your fingers Like sand does you, it, it vanishes To the ocean I saw a face in the sand But when I picked it up Then it vanished away from my hands Isn't it beautiful? A lovely piece, gentle uh, As I said, the word that sums it up for me is gliding the smoothness this roundness this easiness and that sort of listening to a seashell quality ebb and flow the surf coming in this this place of solitude which is lovely it's beautiful but i would rather be home and it's kind of special in that way well that's my first exposure to aurora with this Runaway, and she does have a pleasant voice, a pleasant musical uh, soundscape. Maybe I'll return to her at some point in the future, but a nice first listen to this artist, and I enjoyed it. So let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you soon. <laughs>